Hello everyone, my name is Nakamun Tovanit. I am presenting our TBCG paper on visualization of blockchain data, a systematic review, which I work on with Nicola Ulod, John Daniel Fekete, and Petra Eisenberg. In the last 10 years, blockchain had gained more attention among both technologies and public audience. In short, blockchain is a large transactional database stored in a peer-to-peer -peer network. Users can make a transaction to each other directly without third-party control by a bank, government, or any organization. Besides, blockchain data is encrypted with cryptography to conceal the identity of user. In this work, we present a systematic review of the current state of the art of blockchain visualization tools. First, we collect blockchain visualization sources and then propose a classification scheme to group those visualizations. In the end, we look at research opportunities and open challenges in blockchain visualization. From the data collected from both research articles and publicly available online tools, we found a total of 76 blockchain visualization sources, in which we separate them into three categories. There are 14 visualization articles that visualize blockchain-related data, 17 data analysis articles that use visualization to communicate the empirical analysis result of blockchain, and 45 online visualization tools developed for blockchain users. You can see that online tools are dominant in our survey because blockchain is an emerging field and visualization tools are firstly developed by the blockchain community for practical use. We accessed those visualization in detail and came up with five features to classify blockchain visualization sources. One, target blockchain. Two, blockchain data. Three, target audience. Four, task domain. And five, visualization type. Due to the limit time of the presentation, I will just briefly explain each classification scheme. For more detail, I would like to invite you to read our full paper. For the target blockchain, we found that most exciting blockchain visualization tools display data from Bitcoin because it is the most popular and widely adopted blockchain, followed by Ethereum, another cryptocurrency that can additionally execute smart contracts. Only 13% of visualization display other clients of blockchain, such as Litecoin, Namecoin, and Dash. Notice that all target blockchain we found were cryptocurrency blockchain. For the blockchain data, the elements of blockchain can be simplified into three main components. The first component is data stored in the blockchain, which includes transaction, address, and blocks. The second component is the peer-to-peer -peer network, which store, validate, and maintain blockchain data. The data in this layer include information about nodes and mining activity. The third component is external data, such as market price, news, and social media, which affect the activity inside the blockchain network. Based on the blockchain data, we separate blockchain visualization sources into five task domains. The first three tasks, transaction detail analysis, transaction network analysis, and cybercrime detection, focus on the presentation of data stored in the blockchain. On the peer-to-peer -peer network layer, the peer-to-peer -peer network analysis task domain gives an overview of activity in the blockchain network. Some cyber attacks in blockchain also happen at this level such as denial of service or block withholding attacks. Lastly, cryptocurrency exchange analysis is another task domain using external market data, but it is not the main focus of our survey because it does not include immediate blockchain data. Then we analyze how common these task domain were in our sources. Next, I will discuss each of them in more detail. The first task domain, the peer-to-peer -peer network activity analysis, was the most common task we found in blockchain visualization tools. Typically present aggregated statistics that give an overview of activities in the peer-to-peer -peer network, 
such as mining, transaction rates, and mem pool statistic. As you can see from our example, most of the sources use time series chart to communicate the data. The second most common task domain was transaction detail analysis. We group is two into three different types. First, visualization of financial transactions that allow users to search and explore transactions both on the address level at the above figure and for the entire blockchain as the figure below. Second, visualization of blocks display the chain of link blocks such as the ETH viewer tool here that show real-time activity of the Ethereum blockchain. In addition, two visualization articles specifically propose visual analytics tools to explore specific group of users in the Bitcoin blockchain. Bitcoin Duy is a tool to filter group of users visually from a classification tree on A and B panel, and then explore group of users as radar chart on C and D panel. Another tool is Bit Extract that focuses on analyzing Bitcoin exchange users with a multiple link view, connecting the ranking on A, temporal activity on B and C, and connection between Bitcoin exchanges on D. The third task domain, Transaction Network Analysis, has the same number of sources as Transaction Detail Analysis task domain. Transaction Network Analysis tools mainly display the connectivity of data stored in the blockchain as tree and graph visualizations. We found that visualization sources display either transaction network, address network, or user network as blockchain with tools on the left side or trace the value flow from the seeding transaction as Henry of Kram and with cone view on the right side. The fourth task domain is cybercrime detection. This task is usually overlapped with transaction network analysis with a focus on detecting fraudulent activity and cyber attacks in the blockchain. For example, you can use transaction network tools to visualize a block and detect cyber attacks, as the example from McGinn and Arthur's article, or use transaction value flow tools to follow thief from the suspicious transaction. Next, the fifth task domain, casual, entertaining, information, communication tools target public audience and often present real-time transaction with 3D graphics. For example, BitBonker show animated balls. Bitcoin City display transaction and block as toy model of building and road. Or Bitcoin VR show a flying balloon in a 360-degree virtual reality view. The last task domain, Cryptocurrency Exchange Analysis, display the market price of blockchain and trading volume over time this task domain is not the focus of the survey and we include only tools that also present data stored in the blockchain. We have a poster present at Eurovis 2019 for a more comprehensive review of this kind of tool. Okay, so far I have explained to you three classification schemes, target blockchain, blockchain data, and task domain. Now, let's move on to tools of the classification. Our fourth classification of blockchain visualization related to target audience. We found that the majority of visualization sources were made for blockchain users and data analyst experts. Blockchain users use the tool to monitor blockchain activities or look at the detail of blockchain components. On the other hand, data analyst experts, including investigators and economists, need tools to perform in-depth analysis of activities on the blockchain. Lastly, tools target to public audience usually attract the attention to blockchain technology in a casual way. Separate target audience by task domain. We observe that most casual and entertaining tools are targeted at public audience, while visualization tools for blockchain users mostly focus on the peer-to-peer -peer network activity analysis and transaction detail analysis task domains. Interestingly, data analyst experts are highly interested in two task domains, namely transaction network analysis and cybercrime detection. 
This result indicates the demand for future blockchain visualization tools. Finally, looking at visualization types, time series were the main visualization types for blockchain data, followed by basic charts and tree and graph visualization. This is not surprising because blockchain data is timestamped and transaction elements are connected as a network. Auto visualization types are casual, map based, and multi dimensional visualization. From the result of our survey, we found that the open challenge in blockchain visualization lies in three aspects. On the user side, we found a need for more specific tools for blockchain experts, such as economists, investigator, regulator, and blockchain manager to deeply explore and monitor activities in the blockchain. Another task is to detect possible malicious user or threat to the blockchain network. On the data side, blockchain data is very large and rich in detail, so the challenge lies in processing large transactional data set and detect users in the blockchain. In this sense, progressive visual analytics would help reduce the latency time and improve the efficiency of blockchain visualization. Finally, on the visualization side, we need visualization tools that can handle multiple levels of data aggregation and related or characteristics in a multiple link view. The future tools should allow experts to take on specific viewpoint, in particular, individual user in the network, historical event, or network related event. Thank you for your kind attention.